What up? Hi, Miles. The uh, I guess with their actions, the Dolphins have shown their faith in you, and and you were very productive tenth in the league in uh, yards per game from scrimmage last year. Do you feel like there's another level which you can get to in productivity, and how much higher is it than where you were last year? Um, absolutely. Uh, just feeling like I can work that much harder. Uh, I missed six games last year. Um, definitely just worked on trying to be able to be more healthy, be more available. I know that's hard to do in the NFL, but over this offseason, just trying to be uh, preventative for a lot of things, take care of my body as best as I could. So, yeah. You mentioned that a couple of times, like availability. Is that is your goal to play all 17? Is that on your goal list of, you know? 17 plus. Always you want to go to the playoffs and do what you do. But uh, yeah, definitely. You always want to be available. I love this game. Past just wanting to be available every every Sunday. I want to play football. You know what I'm saying. Every practice, I want to be out there. I just love the game. During the draft process, I mean, we on the outside thought they might take a running back high up. Uh, was there communication with Eric? Hey, this is our plan. You're our guy. Be ready. Is it was anything that happened? Um, no, not really. I mean, I was talking to Coach E just on just kind of like just talking because he's just coach, good dude. Um, became like have a really good friendship at this point. Um, but nothing like that. Uh, I never asked. Uh, he never said anything. Just, I think I'll just have faith in myself. So if we did, I mean, it is what it is. We didn't, so it was cool. You know what I'm saying? Are you expecting him to take one high? Uh, no, nah, that's above my pay grade. You know, I'll just take care of myself. What are your performance goals for this year? Uh, I'll write down my personal goals. I think y'all asked Christian this earlier, but they're my personal goals, so I'll just keep them to myself. <laughs> Miles, in talking with Savon and also your coach at UW, Coach Bonafa, Bonafa uh, he talked about kind of you being a leader in that room and really taking on the responsibility of getting the rest of the room up to speed. Now that you're in year three here with the Dolphins and as a pro, do you kind of feel more of that responsibility and leadership in the room? Definitely. Um, just uh, being here, being with Coach E the last three years, uh, being with Coach Flo, um, knowing what they expect, um, being able to kind of show the younger guys that or the guys that haven't been with them the past year. I guess me and Pat are the only guys that have been here with them the past three years. Um, just kind of just being able to relay the message is the biggest thing. And uh, being able to relay that message as a player is probably like, it's easier to kind of go player to player than coach to player, you know what I'm saying? You mentioned Eric a couple times. Can you describe like what your relationship is with him and kind of how y'all grown, I guess, together? Um, just, just like any other relationship. I mean, when you first come in as a rookie, you wide eyed and, uh, obviously it was pushing me, but definitely was trying to teach me how to just be a professional. And, uh, I've taken heed to that. He's, he's been a great teacher, a uh, great role model. And, uh, just in that sense of uh, he's, he's coached a lot of great running backs and kind of giving me stories on how they, how they practice, how they prepared and, uh, not trying to, not trying to take their uh, practice habits, but definitely just implement them into my how, how I go about my thing. So yeah, just kind of like take bits and pieces. He's always been just very, very wise for me to uh, kind of learn from. Is there a past running back, I guess, a story that he's told you that stuck with you the most? Nah, he got a lot of stories. He's been in the league for a long time, so he got a lot of stories. But uh, I know he, he was with Marshawn, and that was always really cool for me because uh, growing up in Seattle and he was playing for the Seahawks, just kind of just like a cool dude just to know that he used to coach with him and his little stories just here and there about him is just kind of funny to hear about. I know you mentioned the Dolphins' speed of receiver when you spoke to a Seattle station in the last month. Are you curious to see how much that opens the box for you and Malcolm and Savan? Uh, it could potentially, obviously, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm just I'm excited for I'm just excited for football. I'm excited for this camp. Um, obviously, like I said in the past, those those guys are just fun to watch. Just watch them take off. I I, I, I was a track guy when I was younger, and I used to think I was fast, but seeing those guys really take off, so it's just kind of fun to watch and. Uh, like I said in the past, I'm excited for that. So, yeah, I definitely could open the box, but just excited for football, man. You, you were one of the young guys who took a major second year leap um, in, in your second season. What, what do you think contributed to that? What were some of the factors that allowed you to step up your game? Um, just kind of keeping my head down, um, just trying to get that 1% better each, each and every day. Um, just kind of as a young dude and uh, going to UW, even in high school, just trying to get that 1% better each and every day. And uh, it doesn't happen overnight, and, and it, it kind of comes to fruition. And it came to fruition a little bit last year, obviously. Like I said, I missed a couple games, missed six games, and uh, just just still working on that 1% every single day, just get better at something every single day. You talked about your durability, being able to play 17 plus. What goes into that? Like, what have you added to your workout regime regimen or, or rehab regimen? That's going to help you. Um, definitely eating better this off season. Um, eating a lot better. 
and uh, just uh, just working on my body, stretching, uh, doing Pilates. I did a little bit of Pilates um, going into my second year, and then this year I did a lot more Pilates, just just working on things, just trying to be be able to be more flexible, more durable, like you said, just just working on everything, be more conscious of it too, and uh, yeah, um, yoga, yoga too. Marshawn, were, were you kind of like a student of the game growing up? Were you a guy who looked at a bunch of other backs? And if so, who do you kind of look up to? Um, definitely, I was a student of the game. Uh, I, I watched them all. I, uh, my favorite was like LT growing up, definitely. Um, but there's there's a ton that I've watched. Even guys in the league now, just exciting to watch and excited excited to learn from. Um, but yeah, just 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 like I said, I love the game of football. I, I mean, you watch receivers, you watch DBs. I watch everybody. Just just watching just technique, um, how guys attack uh, attack each and every day, attack games and stuff like that. Is there one guy in particular that you kind of model yourself after? Um, when I was younger, I'd say LT. Um, now that I'm older, uh, I just try and take a little bit of everybody. But definitely when I was younger, man, LT was my dude. Uh, Reggie Bush, obviously, everybody loves Reggie Bush when they when he was at SC. Um, but those two guys come to mind at first. Obviously, it was a new scheme for you, the third third straight year. What stands out to you in the scheme, and like what what is different about it? Um, uh, we haven't really gotten too much into it. Obviously, we haven't even gotten on the field yet. Um, but uh, I mean, football is football. I mean, there's there's different play calls, but inside zones, inside zones, gap schemes, gap scheme. You know what I'm saying? So it's all the same. But just kind of how the plays are called, how things are ran, and just just like I said, man, it ain't too much different. But football is football. You're the one player who probably will benefit from the improvements that you get from the second year of the offensive line. Um, what what are you what have you seen from them so far that makes you have more optimism that they'll be more successful as a lot of this unit? Um, you said it just that second year. Um, being a guy that had a jump from year one to year two, um, I, I'm just excited for all those guys: Austin Jackson, Solomon Kinley, um, everybody in that room. Just to like, it, it's just a step that's gonna come, obviously, because when you come in, I think as a rookie, people don't really understand like you're moving from your family, you're moving. To this brand new place, um, brand new facilities, and stuff like that, and then uh, just kind of adjusting to this dream that you've had, and now it's not so much of a dream; it's your reality. And uh, I think that next year, that second year, is when you kind of hone into that and like take that real leap. So uh, it's, it's going to come for those guys, and like you said, like I'm, I'm just excited for them. Miles playing running back. You know, back at OTAs, coach mentioned that it's more of a glorified passing camp without the pad that you can't really run up there and hit. As a running back without the contact of these non-padded practices, what can you do to make your game better in these next few practices? Um, just just work as much as as much as I can on uh, spacing with routes and all that type of stuff. Being able to be able to play in different positions or just be where I need to be. Um, definitely the mental aspect of it. When it, when there ain't too much banging around, you got to just hone in to your mental and uh, make sure you get all the mental reps and uh, make sure uh, you'll be able to communicate with the coaches, communicate with the other guys where what they see and uh, what you need to see, um, stuff like that. And uh, just kind of kind of learning defenses too, obviously. I mean, you have that time right now for the first five days or whatever it is uh, with no pads. Um, just kind of learn everything you can, to just soak it all in, because when you put the pads on, you're really banging. So. Last year, there was so much uncertainty about the season and maybe a lot of question marks now being back with these guys, maybe a little bit more normalcy. Uh, can you describe kind of the energy just coming into the building today? I'm um, just excited, man. Um, it's just, it's, it's a great feeling that we got out of this year for everybody, not just football, um, for everybody in all aspects of life. So getting back to normalcy, like you said, it's just, it's just huge. Um, I was in Seattle for most of COVID. So when I went back home last time, uh, it's just it's just nice to see people getting back to normal and stuff like that. So just definitely to get getting back to regular life. What's Malcolm Brown like to have around and uh, what you could add? To um, definitely, definitely experience. Uh, he's been in the league. I think he's going on year seven or six. I'm not quite sure. But uh, just having an older guy that I can talk to um, I, last year, we had a few older guys, but uh, I'm, I'm excited to have his knowledge, his wisdom. Um, definitely excited to just bounce ideas off of him. And uh, seeing that he's been around for a long time, I, I know he's got a lot to say, a lot to preach to us. So, yeah. Last question. All right, y'all.